Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Carlos's favorite park, Hannibal. No, you know, no, that's a bunch of baloney. But good morning, seriously. Early entry. So Ethan and I are trying not to get trampled right now. And yes, just Ethan and I, Suzanne is fine. She just wanted to sleep. And Kayla was still snoring away. And there she is. There's the tree. So it's just Ethan and I. I woke up Ethan. He wasn't too cozy about getting in here either, but I bribed him with McDonald's on the way back to the resort after. No, that's not what I bribed him with. We're, we're not here all morning. I mean, all day. So we're going to do what we can. Ed and Heather are on their way. They're in traffic. Uh, so they're going to be with us until, at least until we leave here. So yeah. It's going to be a partial morning brew slash uh, stream, uh, park stream, because like I said, we're here this morning. I'm missing a lot of chat and I apologize. And thank you already for being here this morning. I know it's Monday, people are going back to work. I am not in a rush right now to get to rides. I mean, we're gonna go to rides, but I have no idea where to head. Rides don't start until 7.30, so we got like 10 minutes to kill. I'd get in line for a picture, have Ethan take a picture by himself, but we'll wait for the rest of the family, I guess. You wanna wait for the rest of the family? Yeah. What can we go do? What can we go do? I don't know, but let's do morning brew as well. Dream of Deborah, good morning. Kaylee, good morning. Christina G, good morning. Kenneth H, my friend, buddy. Amy, Agency Magic TV, hello. I'm scrolling up. Sebastian the Crab. Dave Stragon, good morning. We see Jeanette this week. We also see in oh, not Anne Marie. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Regina. Scott M, what's up, buddy? Heather Springer, good morning. Good morning to you, Gregory, and the rest of the family. So we're walking, we're walking. If I miss you, I'm sorry. I can't be scrolling all the way up. I hate this park for this reason alone. I get so lost in here. We can't do Flight of Passage because I can't stream in there, but uh, again, see, they're blocking everybody in there, so they can't even, they're not even allowing anybody in the Pandora right now. So we're gonna walk around and talk a little bit. We'll do a recap from yesterday, because that's what we do with Morning Brew. So the recap from yesterday, Magic Kingdom Day, I'm telling you, it was an amazing day. Uh, so many friends. Uh, we did so much. I thought we did so much, right, Ethan? We did a lot. A lot of what? Yesterday. We uh, did a lot, <laughs> Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we met up with Jeff in the morning. Corby Sinclair, welcome in. Kofa, welcome in. Creative Studios. Yeah, hung out with Jeff in, in his stream. Uh, do Philly Crew and, and, and Theme Park Bazaar and, and Texas Takes. Well, they're cleaning right now, see? So you get to see different things when you get up early in the morning. Rope drop. He's scrubbing away over there. He's giving a good clean. But yeah, we uh, hung out with, you know, all of them on Jeff's stream. That was a lot of fun. Headed over to Steakhouse 71. People asked me yesterday about Steakhouse 71. Squirrel. Steakhouse 71 was a lot of fun. Uh, good meals. Walter and Melissa came and joined us there. We're going to see them again uh, someday this week. Oh, where's that big catfish? That's what's over here. Where's that big catfish? That's not it. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at the size of that catfish. Uh-oh. Why is my gimbal acting weird? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Not breaking the gimbals again. Glenn Castro, good morning. Carolyn Blasco, good morning. Yeah, so... uh Steakhouse 71, really good. Never had a bad meal there. I had the uh, the steak frites. Suzanne had her burger. Ethan, what you eat yesterday? Grilled cheese? Yeah, grilled fries. cheese. And what? Waffle fries. Did you actually eat the waffle fries? Yes. Really? Yes. Good for you, buddy. So Ethan had waffle fries, and that's unusual for him because he's not much of a changer. Uh, Sir Pum John, what's going on? Yeah, they're holding everybody up everywhere, so, I mean... It, it's really not 7.30. And I get lost in this park, so I don't even know which way we're heading. I could just, no, this is Starbucks. Where's the Joffrey's in here? Because I could use a donut. But yeah, um, 
Michaela at her turkey club. Everybody tried something different. I know uh, we saw salmon go by. I think uh, Maxine had salmon. I'm trying to see what's in here. I don't know what's in here. Since they're holding everybody up over there, we'll walk this way a little bit. Cotton top tamarind, where are you? They're all still hiding or sleeping. They're like Suzanne right now. They're still sleeping in there. Come on, folks, wake up. Come on out. Little monkeys are in there. Thank you, Kenneth. Because see, Kenneth knows by heart because, you know, of the million and a half of streams that Jeff does from here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I watch too, but don't really pay attention to where everything exactly is. So Kenneth is gonna be our guide this morning. Maple Bacon, what's up? How are you, cousin Mike, bro? So we're gonna walk this way a little bit while we wait to get in. Let's go see the back of the tree of life. Can't get in yet, what do we got, what do we got? We got five minutes, five minutes and we can start heading to a ride or something. Um, yeah, so stick out 71. Out forging back soon. I thought that said something else. <laughs> uh, Ethan is great to always get up early. Yeah, he's struggling. You can see, you can see it in his, you can see it in his face. He's not happy. I mean, he's happy, but he, he's, he's struggling a little bit. There's, there's the beautiful tree. Uh, so yeah, Steakhouse 71, like I said, you know, it was three tables, so we split up everybody, and oh, Donna R. Johns, Sam couldn't make it, she wasn't feeling well, but that was a good time, and then we went back to Magic Kingdom, where I streamed a little bit, stream was fun, good turnout, it was a nice stream, uh, did some stuff, did some unusual stuff, like Hall of Presidents, uh, what else did we do? Hall of Presidents, the uh, uh, Phil on Magic, uh, Mind Train, got on Mind Train. It was a 40 minute wait, so we jumped on there. And then we had ice, and then we got ice cream. And then we got ice cream, yep, yep. And then we went to Epcot. And then Ethan and Suzanne took the monorail to Epcot. Ethan did test track by himself. That's it. And that was it, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then pool pool for a couple of hours at night Suzanne wanted a nighttime pool uh never done that over there at the beach club last trip so it was nice a couple of hours Ethan was in a pool I sat in a hot tub for about a half hour so that was uh needed for my legs I'll be honest with you not so much my back but my legs were a little sore so that felt great uh, I went to the food booth Ethan's Ethan Ethan's tired he wants to sit so I'm gonna go on his side so I know where Ethan is. Ethan's sitting. There you go. Huh? My favorite ride. Your favorite ride. Anything you could sit on. Um, yeah, Ethan went and did uh, that. I went. I ran into Epcot real quick and went and get the gumbo and the uh, falafel panini over at uh, the American Pavilion at the uh, the food booth. And I'm telling you, the gumbo was extra spicy. I didn't get a drink. I didn't have a water. So let, let me just say it was a rough walk back to uh, the beach club. And that was it, pool for the night, bed, and here we are this morning where, if you can't tell, we are at Animal Kingdom where we will be here, who knows, noontime, maybe a little bit after. Um, I don't, you know us, we don't stay here all day. We do what we want, the rides, and then and then we bug out. So that's why I figured I'd do morning brew from a nice early morning here. Suzanne, like I said, Ed and Heather are in traffic. So they'll be joining us real soon. Suzanne, I don't even know if she's up. <laughs> so I'm hoping she's up, but I don't even know if she's up. And we have a couple of DOSs for uh, rides. We're gonna go say bye to Dinosaur. We will be riding dinosaur because it is one of our favorites and it's going away it's going to turn into indiana jones which is kind of cool we'll miss dinosaur but that's a change i don't mind uh fan of indiana jones i like seeing the one at disneyland so it's a change i don't mind <clears throat> so uh yeah we'll leave here you know i i don't know what we're gonna do when we leave here i'll be honest with you I did promise Ethan McDonald's. Where if you know the McDonald's in, in Disney World, it's right outside the Animal Kingdom. So I promised him that. 
he's a, he's a McDonald's boy. He's a chicken nuggy boy, so he's gonna go get some of those. Uh, but we have dinner tonight at 1900 Park Fair, which I should have pinned the link, and I didn't. But what's great is I can do it from here. So Kenneth, please, uh, Steve's link to tonight's stream because you will be live from 1900 Park Fair with us. So that'll be a good time. And then I think we're all gonna go together and watch fireworks at Magic Kingdom or the resorts, one or the other. So, so if you could post it, I will pin it. And uh, Steve's link will be pinned for tonight. I think I said hi to Tim Rempel, good morning. I'm gonna give Ethan this real quick so he can say good morning to everybody. And put your phone away. Oh, I'm gonna take it away. We're not here to play uh, Fortnite or whatever you're Not Fortnite. Say good morning, everybody. Hey, everybody. Right. How's it going? So long. <laughs> Start typing it as I said it. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, Tiki Man fan. Hi, Cynthia. Hey, Tim Rempel. Good morning, Angela. Hey, Scott. Good morning, Heather. Yeah, we're moving. Okay. Already a minute behind. Why aren't we moving yet? Come on, buddy. Tiki Man fan. Tim, good morning, sir. Angela, good morning. Our oh, John's Richard, good morning. Again, I don't even know which way I'm heading. I'm just walking. If you all know me and you do, I get lost in here. I have no idea what to where we're going. I'm just I just picked an aisle and walked up it. But I, I crack jokes that it's not. Let me go back to the morning group before I get going on that. So that's what we're doing, 1900 Park Fair tonight. And that's it. So that's your recap. That's your recap. What's this way? We'll be open until 7, the safari. So we can go that way for the safari. Or we can go, oh, safari's this way. Gorilla Falls, I don't think they're open yet. Let's go this way. Or do you want to go do the safari? Or do you want to go do Everest? Everest. You want to go do Everest? All right, let's go. Who that, Dave? Good morning. Welcome in. I think Everest is this way. I don't even know. I'm embarrassed to admit that, that I don't even know where the heck I'm going. But I crack jokes about this being, it is our least favorite park. Um, but that being said, I do love the architecture. I do love the nature. I do like walking around in this park. Oh, wait, Dad. What? Everest is closed. Everest is still closed? Did that not update? Dinosaurs closed. You know, what's the point of having an early entry if there isn't much you can do? Avatar's already 25 minutes. We just see Everest close. Everest can't be close, is it really? Says it. All right, let's go this way. I don't know. I guess this isn't a park to really rope drop unless you're running to, we could have ran to Flight of Passage, but like I said, I can't stream it. I can't even hold my phone or anything, so. It would have been pointless, and it makes me a little nauseous. Navi first, and swing up to the Safari or Everest. Turn around and go all the way back to Navi. Uh, Navi said it, they said Navi was closed. That sign said Navi was closed. You know what we look like? First time is here, I swear to God, because we're the only people walking over here like we were supposed to know that it was closed. And there's already a line setting up for the safari.
I could turn around and actually go back to us Pandora. I could go wait in line for Navi. But it's, I need your phone. Give me your phone, Ethan. I need to see wait times and stuff. That's why we, that's why we have your phone. I got cast members behind me trying to. All right, let's. Come on. Uh... What is open? Yeah, that's the only thing open. Yeah, flight of passage is the only thing open right now. Wow. How is Flight of Passage the only thing open? What is the point of telling guests that you can come in, in at 7.30? Just for there to be nothing open. And for nothing to be open. You are correct, my son. Yeah, so other stuff needs to be open. Let's go towards Everest. And then when, I don't know. I just remember this was made in 1999. Let's go towards Everest. Because I'm not in the mood to write a safari tour. Twice. And I know Suzanne and Mikhail eventually will be here and they all want to see Cora. I so I don't really want to do Safari twice. So let's go this way. Everything except for Safari. Jeanette, that's what I would think. I know the app's not even saying it, but you think the these animated signs here, uh, automated signs here would be accurate, but it doesn't even seem like that is. I am going, I'm going there. Let's go towards Everest. Cause then I can ride it with Ethan. If he wants to go again on single rider, we'll throw him on single rider. I'm gonna jump on something. Cause if I got up at 5.30 to get ready to get up and drive over here for nothing, I'm gonna be very upset. Tim, that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you. What's the point of having an early entry for resort gas if all you're telling them is, all right, go to Flight of Passage and, and wait in line for Safari? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're reading the same thing. See, Everest is still closed. That can't be. But maybe, because these people are walking back. I don't know. Well, maybe they didn't want Safari Everest. App is always a few minutes behind, says Jeanette. Slowly updating. I was gonna take Ethan's phone no matter what this morning, but instead I woke him up. You wanna come with that? I don't know, he says. I don't know. When I woke you up this morning, do you wanna go with that? I don't know. I'll say this about Animal Kingdom. That is the best I call it centipede. <laughs> that is the best centipede the of all the parks. I know, you know, you all love the castle. We all, God knows I love Epcot. I love but it. I mean, come on. The detail on that tree just stands out beyond anything else. I like how Hollywood, the Hollywood centipede of Hollywood videos. Why do I have to work this one? Doug, good morning. Centipede's bride. Kenneth, I didn't even see if you posted the uh, the link to Steve's stream, so I didn't even, I didn't get the pin to comment, I'm sorry if you posted it if one of my mods can do it again post something about steve stream tonight because we'll all be together at 1900 park fair heather 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 what did heather say uh oh okay gregory's already off to workshop well hopefully he'll have a good day Again, not a cloud in the sky. We nailed it with this week for weather-wise. We definitely nailed it. Posted it twice. Thank you. I did see Kenneth. Hold on. Let me pin this. I should be able to pin it. Report. No. Remove. No. Put use the timeout. No. I don't want that. I want to pin the comments. And I deleted it like an idiot. <laughs> oh, man. All right. 
Let's try this one more time. There, I see this one. Okay, hold on. Why can't I pin it? No. Why isn't it let me pin the comet? It is actually, it is not letting me pin. It's making me delete the comet. Oh, you know how I need to do, oh, I'm not gonna be able to. I would have to use Ethan's device, so it's not gonna let me pin it. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm all right, thank you. Well, Tim, I gotta be something. Um, am I going the right way? I am. So, yeah, we'll be with Steve tonight. It's not letting me pin it. It is what it is. I'm not even gonna bother trying anymore. I'm actually listening to you can hear him I, I know I can hear him I know I'm feeling him I don't hear Everest so Everest might not be running right now honestly you never seen this few things open Jeanette I'm telling you uh, If I knew it was going to be this bad, I, I seriously would have just came at, you know. I mean, it opens at 8. Look at this. It's I'm in here already 10 minutes and haven't been able to do anything. Granted, I didn't go towards Flight of Passage. I don't see a train moving. Haven't heard one yet. I hear it. I can hear the screams. <laughs> they're, they're all piped in. <laughs> uh, thanks, buddy. Been here a few more times, I think, than you have, and they pipe in sounds. You're not hearing screams. <laughs> Too bad the sun is right there, because I'd show you when you get down that mod. Can you get. No, uh, almost. Hold on. Let me move this way. That matches up to the coaster right there. Oh, was that a train that just went up? I might have. Huh? Nobody was in it? Yeah. Well, it could be because nobody's seen that the app, everybody's seen that the app says it's closed. But they're doing test runs, but that, that guy seems to have thought he heard screams. Did you hear all the screams? Oh, man, I love people sometimes. taking it yeah it's a nice spot but i don't know if anybody knew that monument right there because the sun is not hitting it now but that one right there if you get down to the right angle it matches the outline of mount everest yeah there goes another train it's they're both they're all empty right now so they're doing test runs I mean, I, I, you know, I heard it too. You can hear the sounds that they pipe out. But for him to say, oh no, you can hear the screams out here. Yeah, but if there were people on there screaming, sure. Look, the line's out here. Is the line out here or are people just waiting? It's not really a line. It's not really a line. Squirrel. This our dreams, Jeff. Good morning. I love this place. I know, Jeff. Take the day off. Come on over. Be our guide. Cause God knows I can use one. Cause I get lost very easily in here. So come be. I'm gonna ask this guy if he if he still hears the screams. Sorry. Close for about 30 Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Thank you. Very intelligent, buddy. I'm sorry. I didn't need to be that rude, but. You know, <laughs> so we'll keep walking because, according to him, close for another 30 more minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just got the real Carlos there. I mean, you know, Mr. Know It All. I know a lot of people say that about me, but holy crap, Mr. I can hear the screams. I should have asked him, Do you hear the screams? Where's the screams? Oh, freaking people. Carlos, Suzanne, what do you want me to do? 
All right, let's go check out dinosaurs. Dinosaur open, Jeanette. I'll get on with Ethan at Dinosaur. I know I'm making this kid very tired. And this is what happens when you open the park early with nothing open. It, this is awful, Tim. It really is. I mean, I could have went to Flight of Passage, but I, I started the stream. I couldn't really do anything. Huh? Dinosaurs close to... This is... What is the point of early entry today with everything closed? No, you're fine. No. Oh, dinosaur is open. Dinosaur is open. Yeah. Dinosaur, dinosaur just opened. Hold on, do you know what Pixar movie that deserves a ride? Hold on, Dad. What? You know what Pixar movie that deserves a ride? What? What Pixar movie deserves a ride in Animal Kingdom? Go ahead. No, Guess. Oh, Guess? Well, I'm asking you. I don't know. No, Guess. Guess. I don't... Guess. Uh, Zootopia. That's not Pixar. That's not Pixar. Ethan knows more than me. You know Dad doesn't know movie. Why do you want to embarrass Dad too like everybody Sorry. else? <laughs> want to know. <laughs> what? Up. Up? Up. What would the ride be? I... A balloon I, ride? Something like Dino... Uh, something like Dino... Uh, Dino Rama? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Instead it's balloons going around? Yeah. A house in... You sit in a house with balloons? Yeah, it'd be like... Uh, This is rough. 20, 50 minutes in. All we're doing is walking around because nothing was really open. And up fits the vibe. Fit, fits the vibe for perfectly in the whole uh, seconds. Yes, Disney World freak, not Disney movie freak. Correct, Jeanette. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yes, Ethan, Ethan's been like studying Pixar movies and everything. But we might, we're going to lag. We're going to lag in Dinosaur, but we're going to go in Dinosaur because we're going to do something. So Ethan and I, we're going to go in Dinosaur. We're going to go see ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should. And if you don't, I will show you. Because we're here to say goodbye to this guy. And all the rides over here. Because this will all be closed down. I truly believe before we come back in September that this will all be gone. Well, at least blocked. This will all be blocked off. Um, I don't know why I went the long way. This will all be blocked off by the time we come back in September. Jason Thibodeau, good morning. Yeah, I guess Disneyland. Cynthia, guess good morning. Disneyland just opened. Ethan will be Imagineer. Hey, why not? They all started at some age, right? There is nobody on Dino-Rama. That's what was open, Dinorama. So if you wanted the rope drop, come on, Dinorama. <laughs> Rob Law, good morning. See if you could put that dinosaur in my luggage. Well, at least I brought the car. I could ride it on top. Could have uh, put him uh, put him right up top. We'll ride dinosaur a couple of times today because. Suzanne likes to ride. It's one of our favorites, so we'll ride it again. You all know what me. I stop streaming whenever I just feel like it. We might go all morning. Who knows? We'll see how everything's going, see how I'm going. We'll see if Suzanne does not yell at me for something else. Uh, Texas Takes is in the chat. Good morning, Ed and Heather. We'll see you guys in a little bit. You're, you're almost in the park yourself because it's only another 15 minutes for regular guests. If I didn't want to really kill my son, I'd walk all the way back to the entrance and just wait for you. But I think I would ruin this kid because some, he's, he's tired and dad woke him up and I'm just making him walk around. We just walked around the whole park. Yeah. We really just did. For nothing, except just now. Really just went in a full circle. Fine. It's all right, man. We, we like it. We, again, I joke about the park, but I like being here. Dad. Yes. I bet I can name all 29 Pixar movies. I bet you can, but let's not. Well, I don't know what I'm still going to do. It. <laughs> well, do it in your mind no, quietly. Right now. Fine. After the ride. After the ride. Let's hope we don't lag too much in here. But we'll see. We're gonna say bye to dinosaur. Right, 
We'll say by the dinosaur a couple of times. When Susanna Michaela get here, I believe I have a DOS fart already set up. Again, we're probably gonna lag inside a little bit. Hopefully not, because it's early in the morning. We'll find out together, I guess. Good morning. Thank you. Try to read what Jeanette just wrote. You're killing me. I'm definitely coming here this Thursday now. You should, Jeanette. I know. I know you. You know you. You were thinking about it, and like I said, Michaela might come with you, and maybe we will too. Who knows? I know we definitely got to go to Disney Springs, and that was the plan for us. Uh, so, who knows? Who knows? We'll see what happens. Morning. A lot of people don't stream this because it does lag in here. So, wow, look at this. It's not even on. Oh my God, the screen just turned on. It's lights are you Hello. off. I'm Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old wing. That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today, that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Time Rover, an amazing vehicle that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's proprietary. But the result is a breathtaking journey through a prehistoric world where you will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the Earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little transdimensional joy, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's in the Guanadon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. Phone. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in. Use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? <laughs> we're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon. Then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me. What could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission. So don't tell anyone, okay? Ed, if you're still in the chat, or oh, Heather, uh, I just grabbed something for us as soon as we get off of here. I'll meet you at the front of the park or over in Pandora. I just grabbed the DOS for uh, Navi River Journey. So if you're in here and you can hear me, we'll meet you. Uh, as soon as we get off of here, we'll meet you that way.
Good morning, Regina. Regina, can't wait to see you to Wednesday. <laughs> Two days. So, ketchup, mustard, those are the ingredients that creates, that makes ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. If anybody didn't know that. Two. Yeah, Dave. Mayo, mustard, or whatever, whatever order it was. Ketchup, mustard, mayo. And those lettering on it is actually the ingredients. Uh, Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just a little more. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Asteroid impact in 90 seconds. We've got to move it. Pterodactyl. Incoming! Asteroid impact in 60 seconds. We can't stop now. Keep going, keep going. Cops on Nathus. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four wheel drive, move it! Warning, meteor strike. Evasive maneuver! Left, right, left, right! That was close. Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! Well, that was a good shake me up for uh, a morning ride. Please gather personal belongings from the pouch in front of you and remain seated until the rover comes to a complete stop. I feel like I'm zoomed in. I'm not. Oh, I was. <laughs> no lie. Yeah, I saw that, Tim. Thanks, man. 
everything always works earlier in the morning. So that was very cool. Really like that ride. We're okay, like I said, with the change. Well, we, I am okay with the change. So Ethan has every one of these dinosaurs. Every single one he has. You have this one, this one. You got those. What do you mean, like? He's got those. You got them all. So there's no no dinosaurs for you to buy because you have them all. Yep, Ethan has them all. He used to buy one every trip. Walt, Walt and Melissa bought him one a while back. Boy's favorite ride. Yeah, we enjoy it. It's not a favorite, but it's it's up there. I mean a favorite. I guess it is a favorite. Yes, it's one of our favorites. <laughs> I don't know why I was talking. See, we lost a few people in there. Dinosaurs might eat them off the stream. All right, we're going to head over to Pandora because, like I said, I have a, a DOS for Navi River Journey just now. So we'll go over that way. We'll pick up Ed and Heather on the way over. We got Dino Rama. Yeah, leave your poncho at home, Regina. Definitely not going to need it this week. I was say, is anybody even on Dinorama? Yes, there is a few people actually on Dinorama. All right, eight o'clock. Park is open for everyone right now. Let the fun really begin. So all we did was dinosaur for early entry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna head over, like I said, towards Pandora. We'll get over to the front of the park. Again, I asked this earlier. I don't know if anybody knows. Where is the Joffreys in the Animal Kingdom? Because I am. Ethan's just naming Pixar movies. Finding Glory, Cars Free, Coco. Seeing our Ryan, what's going on? Onwards, Samantha Lowe. Luca, turning red, light year, and Elemental. And also Inside Out 2 and Elia coming out soon. Right across from the bird show. Thank you, Jeanette. Is that all of them? Yep. You got that out of your system? Yep. All right. When are they taking the Yeah, I know where Starbucks is too. That's the sad thing. I don't like Starbucks. I'll drink it if I have to, like on a drive down. I can't find a Dunkin' and Starbucks, of course, is a lot better than a, you know, gas station coffee. Oh, we could have went the other way and jumped on, no. Shoot. We could have. We are right here. Is anybody on it? If anybody's on it, we'll jump on it real quick. Can I see? I can see from here. Hold on. Is anybody on Everest? Let's see. Can you hear the screams? People are on it. Can you? No, hold on. Is anybody on Everest? We never tightened your magic band, did we? That's fine, it's not coming off. I don't see a train. Waiting to see a train go up, see if I see people on it.
No train. No train, no train. Come on, train. Maybe they shut it down. Don't play with your magic band over the water, because don't need you to lose that one. Okay, we're just wasting time. We'll get on Everest eventually. Just wasting time, waiting to see if it's actually running. Like I said, park is open now. Everybody's moseying on in. Cross yakin. Just one outside the park. Hey, here he is. Good morning. Good morning, hey, man. How are you, buddy? Good, brother. Group hey, oh my group god. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Too early for that. Need more than five people for a group. Ed from Texas takes, I'm sure. Yeah. Heather is. Yeah, you know what? It's not a bad idea. Here you go. Have fun with Thank the you. we're giving it to Ethan real quick. That's all gonna right. go in. Okay. So all Pixar movies are Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, The Incredibles. Cars, Ratatouille, Wally, -E, Up, Toy Story Free, Republic Jeff, Haunt. That was all Toy Story Free. Cars 2, Brave, Monsters University, Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur, Finding Dory, Cars Free, Coco, The Incredibles 2, Toy Story 4, Onward, Soul. Hey, Mom. And then Luca. Also, Luca, Turning Red, Lightyear, Elemental. And there's also Inside Out 2 and Elio. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Cope for Creative Studios. Also, Header's here, right? Yep, Header's here. Hey, say hi to Ed and Header. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hello, Cynthia. I see you saying hello. Jeff, Jeanette, Suzanne. And maybe even Suzanne, Toy Story 5. Where's your mom, Ethan? What? Yeah. Where's your mom and sister? I already did it. We already did a group hug. You can come over. You can go over to Animal Kingdom if you want. Cool. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Everybody say bye. I don't know if you're on stream, but I grabbed something for Navi. We're going uh, Navi now. We we have been uh, Heather just pulled up the thing and yeah, we're good to go. It looks like we're today. Yeah, so it's I can put you guys on everything. So perfect. Yeah, Heather. Heather was a, she just bought Fast Pass Plus. Well, because we're ready this afternoon. And then she looks just oh, we're set for the whole day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you. No. <laughs> nice crisp morning, Carlos. It's a beautiful morning. It really is. It, really is. it just sucked getting here and nothing was open. The only thing that was that. open was like Flight of Passage, and I'm like, yeah. I can't even go on it with this, so. Well, I tell you, we got, we got here right at, right at 7.30, and security was super quick. Today. Yeah. For us too, even with the bat, nothing, they didn't care. I don't even think he looked down, he was just waving. Yeah. Look, it's, uh, what's his name? Not Kevin. Russell, Russell that's it. Not. <laughs> that's why I said not Kevin. <laughs> oh, that's a dog, right? Yeah. Kayla's in a chat, that means the, the ladies are, are awake. <laughs> I'm impressed, Ethan. You got up early? Mm. Dad woke him up. <laughs> Dad woke him up. And I bribed him with McDonald's uh, on the way out. What's your favorite thing at McDonald's in the morning, Ethan? In the morning. <laughs> yeah, he's... Oh, bribe for lunch? Yeah, on the way out. Uh, yeah, gotcha. yeah. we won't be here all day. It's That's This is, uh, this is, <laughs> this is do what the rides we like and get lost, you know? Yeah. You know, I think that's that's the only McDonald's on the planet, I think, where you can get a, a Big Mac and sit on an exercise machine and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I just went and get he was him and Suzanne jumped on the monorail, so he did test track single rider. I drove over, went to the American booth, grabbed my gumbo, which was extra spicy for some reason, and. Um, that falafel panini they have and walked right back to Beach Club and then we went in the pool. <laughs> that was it. Michaela took off to Disney Springs. A little shopping. Yeah. Isn't it nice when they're old enough though to 
Oh, yeah. Everybody's like, Michaela's on her own? I'm like, well, Suzanne's, you know, iffy, and I know they're all in the chat, but we even told, Michaela knows. You know, it's just that she's by herself, you know. Yeah. Like, but she don't care. She's already said, I don't care, Mom. So it's like, peace out. You're easy to find these days. Yep. Sure. Well, he wants to go, not off on his own, but it's like, well, can I go on, can I go by myself and do this? Yeah. So Suzanne's like, no. I'm like, we can't lose him. He's tagged. He's... It's like, you know, it's like we stapled the, back. yeah, nobody it's wants. It's kind of like when you're old enough to go to a movie, so you come on your own. Right. Maybe that's the age. I don't know, it was just nice, you know, when they were little, you got them in school, you got to practice them all the time, you got to make sure they got rid of them. Yeah. Mama, I think you're Best churros on property right there. Not a churro fan, no. so yeah, we I hear that a lot. We've never right. been in there. Yeah. They come out in the little fry basket, nice and hot. They are, and that's the only tour I've ever had, and they are they're made fresh. And they're gluten free. If anybody can. Yeah, they're gluten free, is that what you said? Nice. Now the sound changes drastically. Yeah. Tim says really good ribs in there, too. Uh, we oh, got they the are. Sliders. Got the sliders? Yeah, we got. Like overly cooked, so they're super tender. Nice. I might be able to stop there. <laughs> we gotta. I gotta figure out lunch. Dinner is at nineteen hundred. So. Huh? Yeah. There's room for two. Oh, that's <laughs> a prefix, right? It's a buffet. Yeah. Yeah. And no, no annual pass discount because they're just open. So I'm paying $66 for him not to eat anything. <laughs> well, I'm going to put him as a kid, and if they look at me, I'm going to be like, listen, I never fight with you guys. I really don't. But he ate two bowls of mac and cheese probably. I am not paying $66. I'll pay the 40-something for a kid because I have no choice. But there's, I will. I am going to fight the $66 when I know he's not going to eat 10 bucks worth of food. God bless chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. But he, he doesn't like kids grew up. He don't like the Disney nuggets. So, and, and they're great. I love them. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, he would have that fake, greasy, you know, 20 piece from. Yeah. You put enough ketchup or barbecue sauce. Not even that he puts on it. Everything's playful for him. He won't try sauces. Michaela is a month, a couple of months from 21, and she just figured out what barbecue sauce was. <laughs> Don't tell Jeff he doesn't use ketchup. My gosh. Yeah, he had about four. What was it, Jeff? I know he's in the chat. Four little cups of ketchup yesterday. <laughs> Oh, so do we. Michaela's like that. He is Heinz. Michaela will dump her toast in it for breakfast. Eggs and toast, and she'll... Scrambled eggs. Oh, scrambled eggs, yes. That's fine. That's like candy. Of course, there is a lot of Tabasco. Oh, I do for that. That I put in my eggs a lot of. Like at Boma, I'm like, can I have the big bottle of Tabasco? Me with Tabasco is like Steve with red pepper, uh, black pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Close second. Close second to Steve. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, it's the boat one. Oh. The one that's got the big animatronic. The one we never do. His mom doesn't like it. <laughs> Ethan, what ride is this? Ethan, what ride is this? The one we never do because mom doesn't like it. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan either. I mean... It's pretty. Yeah. It's something that's 90 degrees. I'll get me out of this yeah. heat. And let's go. And something to be said. That's one of the world's most unique animatronics yeah. I've ever seen. Jeanette says she loves the ribs too. I'm sorry. I'm trying to catch up the chat. I'm trying to have a conversation, catch up with chat. Watch where I'm walking. Yeah, sorry, we're no. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> My view is no. I don't read chat. I just let it go and then figure it out later. Yeah. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning. Navi, yawn. Yeah, Tim, that's that's me too. But what are you, you know, I'm gonna do stuff. Can I have your phone? Is Tim local? No, Tim, local to me, New Hampshire. Oh, I see. Well, which Tim? I'm talking to Tiki Man fan. 
not Tim Rempel. Um, well, it's, I didn't know the Tiki Man fan was... Uh, uh, yeah, his name's Tim. <laughs> well, no, his name's Tim. I didn't know he was uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. Yeah, New Hampshire. Yeah, Tiki Man fan, he... We get to see him almost every time. He's so uh, supportive. Yeah. Last night we uh, watched the, the fireworks mm. we have Raptor, and we went over to Tomorrowland by the sun yeah. and got Tinkerbell right over us. It was really neat. Nice. I didn't hear her. What row did she say? Everybody row one. That's what happens when I let him leave. <laughs> I call it living with the land in, in Vanor. Yeah, good point. We're just li <laughs> That's scary, Jeanette, if you're just listening to me because I'm not much to listen to. Ron Killings, welcome in. Don't fall. Yeah, I'm trying to pick another, um, but there's nothing to pick. That's the thing with this park. There ain't many rides, so it's like it doesn't even matter. Oh, I got my bag on. You know that? Don't trust it. That is water. Help me. Help me. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> you're good. We're cozy this morning. A little coat, right? Score Jason, good morning. Enjoy the ride, folks.
Ting Lao. Look at that. Look at it. Extra brakes the there. The yeah. I like how smooth the belt is too. I like Grand Fiesta Tour where it's like, oh. you know, it's like <laughs> right, all the way up. Yeah. It's a nice smooth. Yeah. <laughs> it is. No, it is. I, it is. I listen. I, I knock a lot of things here at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> But it's not it. I'd wait 25. No, I'd, I'd, seriously, I would. I'd wait 20, 25. Well, let me rephrase that. If the sign said 25, I'd wait. Because then yeah. it's really like 15. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is beautiful. And that animatronic is so yeah. fluid. Oh, it is. It is amazing. I've only seen the first movie. That just screams. We went to the theater and Joe saw Rody the second all movie. Did and just, that was three hours yeah. of our life. I can't do that. Well, it's so long. Everybody's so excited that Joe's back, but we all know why, because they're redoing all of this Animal Kingdom stuff. I mean, uh, the dinosaur. He was here last week. Yeah. Maybe Gary Solo, welcome in. She isn't real. I thought she was real. I mean, she was moving her arms like my wife does sometimes when she I talk to her. Now. What? Now. Okay. Let's see your phone real quick. <laughs> All right. Are you the official communication station of Disney World 3? Yeah. He's my, uh, he's my somewhat producer slash... What do you guys want to do now? Whatever. Uh, we think you've, already, you've got it all lined up, buddy. Well, it's... it's. I want to do things that Suzanne doesn't like when I do, but she's not here. It's a lot of walking because we're here, then we're going to go there, then we'll come back to here because i got to wait for Michaela. Ethan. I need this, Ethan. It's okay. You can you can survive without the cell phone in your hand. Yeah, you did through ER Bob. Stop it before I make you go on Bugs Life. Huh? Oh, you don't like that ride? Nah, not really. I don't like that. Attraction, I should say. The movie's good. Not the show is. They're gonna be closing that one down pretty soon. Yeah, it's a Tokyo. All right. Anybody want to go see uh, some animals? Yeah, let's go see some. Let's go to Safari. That sounds like an excellent idea. There's a little more active in the morning. Who am I missing? Heather. Where's Heather? Right here. Heather. Heather. All right. Here we go. All right. By the time we get there, we can get right on. All right. So we'll come back to Pandora later because we're gonna fly. We're gonna do flight of pass. You do flight of passage, right? We do. Oh. Absolutely. Okay. Good. All right. So we'll do flight of passage. We're gonna take the back row. Back row. Yeah. If you remember where it is, you yeah, can guide please. me there. Let's go. I can. I am not. I am only embarrassed to admit that I get lost in Animal Kingdom all I the time. I can't get so, <laughs> I was trying to get Jeff to. I was trying to get Jeff to take the day off so he can come guide us along, but that didn't work. <laughs> I remember coming here when this was being built, and we'd pull up and we'd see, you know, all the uh, the steel and all that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. 
it's, it's really beautiful at night, but with the time zone now bringing forward, you yeah. really don't have much evening time here. But that's when it really pops. Michaela loves to ride Everest at night. And I yeah. told her, I says, well, it ain't going to happen. Not now, and probably not even in September, just because of the time and what time the park closes. Yeah. There is no nighttime uh, riding anymore. Sarah P. Adventures, good morning. I know Welcome we in. Back last night and rode Big Thunder again at night. That's a Big Thunder. It's just a different ride. It is. Amanda Orlov, good morning. Welcome in. Come on, guys. If you're just joining us, we're here in Animal Kingdom. We've been here for a little bit. We rope drop. We early early park entry for resort guests. Didn't help any. We did dinosaur, and that was about it because everything was closed. Everything was down. Ed says he knows which way he's leading us, but I see rope ro ro roping us off. No? Oh, I was looking that way. <laughs> Ed, isn't it this way? This way. It's up here. Yeah, this way. <laughs> Taking the scenic route. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought we were in a, uh, a queue for a ride just now. No. All right, who needs Jeff? We have Ed. <laughs> yeah, remember during COVID how it would snake yeah. all the way back in yep. there? I, and they had all those lines? I do. It's all the sound here at night. All the lightning bugs yeah. and the trees they have going off. It's just amazing. Okay. No, I will hold that because I'm going to see you. Let's go see if baby Cora is out and then we'll see baby Cora again. When Suzanne gets here. It's going the back way. Yes, we are going the back route. It's always quiet back here because not many people know about it. Mm -mm. That's a nice walk. Right by the D23. Regina, have a safe flight. Oh. We'll see you real soon. Nathan, good morning. Jessica Mello, good morning. Morning from Boston. New to the channel. Well, we're from Rhode Island. Born and raised in Massachusetts. So, hello, neighbor. Thanks for finding us. I appreciate it. Streams, the Portuguese... Feast of Four River. Are you the guy that streams? I am. Oh, uh, the feast? No. I do the, uh, the, the, that's where I recognize your name. Hey, yes, I'm the one that does the, 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 uh, the big procession where they hand out the food and all of that and all the dancing. Yes, that, that is me. I knew that name in that, in this chat before. Okay. And Jessica Mello. Another Portuguese last name, which we are as well. So, yes, the Bud Lake. Yes, Jason, that is that is definitely me. Welcome back. Somebody go on the water ride or something? Because there's a lot of squeaking. Yeah, a lot of squeaking. Safari? I don't think it's open yet. No. I mean, it's open, but I don't know if it's open now. It is running. No, that you don't do it? Well, yeah, he likes that one. We'll probably do it. That's great when it's 102 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Julie McCowan, K. Wilby. Good morning, Glenn Castro. Leanne, good morning. Well, it's nice about it. It actually does have some really creative scenery. Yeah, I wish it was just longer. It is very short. I guess we wish anything was longer, but... <laughs> Oops, almost did something inappropriately. Originally from Pawtucket. There's Club 33. Live near Walters who will not. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're from Tiverton, Rhode Island, so. But I know Pawtucket very well. I'm sorry, where was Club 33, you said? Right there. Oh, right back here? That's it. Oh, there you go, right back there. The wanna, restrooms in the park never busy back here I wonder how many people actually go to this club 33 we don't. well no we just I know yeah you just no time Heather just wants to do rides and walk around 
<laughs> Lion King show. We might do this. Again, so we're waiting. Fun. If you can all bear with us for a little bit because we're still waiting for Susanna McKeela to, to get here. Uh, they're going to be a few more minutes. Everybody loves the monkeys. The monkeys are back. The, uh, tum the tumbling monkeys. Tumble monkeys. And we did lose the gentleman that played the guitar. I, I forget the instrument. Kind of oh, yeah. He used to set up over here. Yeah. It was really, it was really fun to watch. That way, right? <laughs> up here to the left. Yeah. <laughs> Where the mass of people are going. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bright sun. It's still down. Is it really? Everest is still down, yeah. I can't even get a dollar for it yet. Oh, you weren't watching. Oh, I can't tell you the story now. You can go back and watch it. Okay. Later on. Which, Just that little which episode. <laughs> Boy, I pretty much told the guy off. Oh. <laughs> and Suzanne yelled at me in the chat already. I told him off, but just, you know, whatever. You were, let's just say you were direct. I was Carlos. Carlos. I was Carlos. That's, you know, that's all it is. I was Carlos. Is that a new adjective in the oh. dictionary? Yeah, it might be. Well, it used to be being Carlos with an ED at the end was when oh. somebody so was wouldn't a, get invited to a stream. So it was an action verb. Yes. That, that builds used to Carlos a lot of people. You know, don't invite him to streams. But being Carlos is uh, well, that's a whole other world. That's a whole. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of work. I think the book's still being written. Be yeah, oh, well, it definitely is. It takes a lot of work to be Carlos. All right, we're gonna go do the safari. We're gonna do the safari twice today too. I don't know if it'll be on stream, but. Again, like I said, when the rest of the family gets here, we will be doing other uh, repeats. There isn't much to do in this park, if you think about it, ride-wise. So, you know, for streaming, you could actually ride. Ride-wise, yes, but to walk around through Oh, the, there's uh, so much to see. You know, where the tigers and the apes. Yes. Um, All the tracks. Just, if you walk around the Tree of Life and really spend time <laughs> to look at things, you'll see so many... Hidden gems, little Easter eggs everywhere. Right. Donna says, Carlos is just a whole other vibe. Yes. Go way to put it. I'm just a vibe. A whole different type. <laughs> Morning, Donna. Can't wait to see you and, and Richard again tonight. And Sam. That sounds like a commercial for California. Right. <laughs> Ethan, you got to wait, buddy. Did you get it in? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I skipped the bird show. Yeah, we've seen it once. It was cool, uh, but nothing I would actually sit through probably again. Fifty-five minute wait. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, this one wants to leave. Good. You got the leave. Good. This one's bigger. Don't leave that one. Oh, you got a little one in your hand. Why are you taking a little one? Take the big one. Look at the size of this thing. So now I got Ethan picking up leaves. <laughs> Today is the last day. His head's at the His head's over. Ivan Rosario, I don't think it is. My thumbnail just says that because we will not see it open anymore after this trip. So I don't believe today is the last day. Ciao, everyone, and welcome to Kilimanjaro Safaris. In order to keep your wait time to a minimum, we ask that you please speak your again. No problem, Donna. Thank you for listening in. It is Monday, a lot of people have errands. A lot of people are working, some people have errands. 
Some people have doctor's appointments and all this stuff to do. So we understand. But thanks for popping us on for a little bit, a lot. Listen, view. I don't know. I saw him wave, you stop. <laughs> yeah. Right or left? Up to me. All right, we'll go right. That one? There were so many nicer ones. You grab that one? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, and he wants to put it in my bag. I carry that with me, Rob Law. That's not a problem. Four, can I roll nine? Can we wait for roll nine, please? Thank you. What? Row, row. Last row. Oh, this is the last row? No, I want to wait for the last row. Oh. <laughs> you see better from the line, from the back. You can. This. You can turn around. You can... It's a little more bumpy behind the axles, but, you know, you can see better. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, it really is. Sir, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Rob I didn't even think of what you meant, but thanks. Yeah, um, is it tax day today? It is, huh? Today is the 15th. It is tax day. Get your taxes done today. Morning, Sandy. Welcome in. I know a lot of us wait for the last row. It, it is, to me, it is the best row. You know, I've, you do have somebody in front of you, but the, there's just a better angle to view everything. Hey, so, yeah, I appreciate if you guys would just share the stream out. Let it, people know what we're doing, where we are, how crazy it might get, how crazy it's been. Got to remember to tell Ed the story of the uh, the screams. Can you hear the screams? Melissa Stenberg, good morning. Steve Singleton, good morning. Get your Fords. So these are the Fords. We're gonna get on a Ford here and Oh, it's just you guys. <laughs> no, well, we all wouldn't fit. Yeah. No, we're, li we're live on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to make room for us. But sweet out, we were going to fit in no, there. No way, no way. <laughs> Yeah, huh? She's in a hurry. We're late. She floated through there. She ain't messing around. Hold on, Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's uh, quite the smell early in the morning. Isn't it? Yeah. Can't get that on YouTube, unfortunately. <laughs> smell of vision Add the Dutch Disney lover. What's going on? How are you? Reading in photo here, about 50. What is it there in Walt Disney World? It's, it's, uh, I don't know what the temp is. Uh, you know what? Oh, I couldn't even, I can't see it on my phone. It's not warm yet. 68. 68. It's beautiful right now. It's going to get to about 85, 86. Yeah. Up to, by the end of the week, we're going to be in the 90s. 90s. Into the reserve won't be too much longer. To the right. <laughs> that is roughly the width of the canopy up and above each other. Looking over here. Right? <laughs> As we move around this bend on the left hand side, keep your eyes off. I'm sorry, I snorted just now. This guy. Where is he? What is the black rhino? No. Now these are the smallest of the African rhino species, only weighing about 3,000 pounds fully grown. And they are one of the more endangered species out here on the reserve. Oh, there he is. Yeah, sorry. Okay. With only 5,000 left in the world due to poaching for their horns, which are made of keratin, the same material as your fingernails. There he is. Oh. Tree got in my way. Oh. Oh. There you go. Oh, look at that spray. Oh, that'll go viral. <laughs> well, we'll keep, we'll zoom in too. What the heck? We'll zoom in. Yes, please stop it. I keep looking. No, stop. 3,000 pounds and just let go, Ted. Imagine how many people are going to get. She can't decide if she's going to go on the road or not. The rhino? She's gone. This is the bongo. Oh, overhead. Yeah. And that is the ghost of the forest because they are rarely seen. They're backwards facing ones. I'll put them quickly and efficiently without getting caught anything. Meanwhile, we're going to be on that left-hand side as well. Who's that guy? And we're going to leave the forest behind, head up and over to an incredible water source for Africa, but also a habitat for a home with some pretty cool aquatic life. So as we approach the stopping river, make sure you keep your eyes glued to that water. You won't find anything in the bushes, maybe some squirrels or lizards. Nothing that you came to see today. I came to see lizards. Oh, we heard the whistle. They're letting the animals out. They're calling animals out here. The whistle. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're feeding them. It's time for a salad. Oh, there's two of them. There's the other one. Too. Oh, there's a few of them. I don't know why I said two. Yeah, those hippos can weigh anywhere from three to five thousand pounds. So they're not great at swimming, but they are great at sinking. They often sink all the way down to the bottom, and they'll walk and run alongside it, only come up for air as needed. So they have set a record, they can hold their breath up to eight minutes at a time if they ever need to or really want to. Even cool, they come up for air in their sleep without ever waking up or disrupting that sleep cycle. That's that walking uh, trick. Yeah. Cy took that the last time she was here. Oh, nice. Continue on that left hand side. 
is our very first under the Nile crocodile. So can so I. <laughs> I can eat half my body weight in one seating. I'll be at 1900 tonight. I'll prove it. Especially the money I'm paying. I'm going to eat half my weight. <laughs> Like the tree, we are slowly but surely making our way over towards. Sounds like there the was roof. an animal around yep. a little bit, so we're catching up. And continuing on that right hand side is going to be the Baobab tree, also nicknamed the upside down tree and the tree of life. It is the inspiration for the Tree of Life over in Animal Kingdom, but that one is a little bit more magical. It has over 300 animals on it, and it is in full bloom year-round. Yeah, some nice if you haven't checked there. out that tree yet, I recommend going and doing so. It's pretty cool to look at. Nice stucco if work. If you want a challenge, you can go find the smallest animal in the tree of life. It is a life-size ant. Oh, that tree? Oh, life-size? You want us to find well, a life-size ant on that tree? <laughs> Now we are about to head down into the savannah. I'm like, yeah, can you give us a clue? We'll talk about each and every one of those animals once we get a little bit closer to them. Looks like quite a few animals are out right now. As soon as we come down the hill on that right hand side are the wildebeest. They do have the second most dense herd out of all mammal species. They migrate with about 1.5 million in their herd. And during that great migration, they have been known to kick up enough dust they can see from space. Continuing on your right hand side on the lot of different animals, we're going to start off with that really small tri colored one that looks like a little s'more. This is a springbok. They do get their name because they can spring up the super excited about something or else that motion is called pronking can you pronounce that again please there's some beside giraffe hanging out on my right hand side and also some ant coli cattle and we'll deep dive into them a little bit later after we pass by our very next predator on the left hand side there are some african painted dogs hanging out if you find their den there's one directly to the right of the den sleeping tricky vultures does that count I don't think their name trick you. They're not related to domesticated dogs. They're actually apex birds, catching 80 to 90 percent of all prey they go after in the wild. I have never seen turkey vultures just hanging around. The reason they are they're so all just because they often chase yeah. their prey to the point of exhaustion, yeah. taking turns on who does the chasing. Yeah, they're, they're sleeping right there. They, they were so active. The smaller brown antelope couple of weeks on the ago. left they are the running around like a nut. Antelope, and these large cows are the ant coli cattle. Those sable antelopes are the official emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, what we are driving right now. And these ant coli cattle you have those on your cattle? I mean, on your, uh, oh, they're all those aren't long ones. We have a long one. Not as thick at the base. Their horns get about six feet long, but they're extremely lightweight, only weighing about five pounds each. Thanks to a honeycomb structure on the interior of them. I'm saying on that right hand side, our first Maasai giraffe of hopefully many. These giraffe are the tallest in the world, standing at 18 to 20 feet, and they have on average one inch of tongue for every foot of height. Look at your nearest adult's hand from the tips of their fingers all the way down to their elbows, about the size of a giraffe tongue. As we continue around, you're going to see more of those wildebeest. But behind those wildebeest are going to be the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. Stay 
No, I don't keep it. No. Heather must be keeping. Yeah, Heather's yep. keeping count. Yep, she's got the number. Mm -hmm. I think it's now our next series. We have two very different animals from one another. Yeah. One of them is nearly impossible to find because they're such good hiders. The other one couldn't hide. I said a giraffe come out from them. Then none of the, on the one giraffe side, came out today. Keep your eyes out for mandrills. They are the largest monkey in the world. If you don't know what they look like. You're looking for a fiki. Giraffes did not want to come out this morning. On the right hand side, we're going to be keeping our eyes out for African elephants. Baby Cora. Keep an eye out for Baby Cora. Is that her name? Yeah. She's usually sitting under her, standing under her mother. Ella's probably pretty big to die down. You can probably see those Stella. elephants already as soon as we come in. So I heard that little lag there. It was actually a phone call coming through. I don't know. I don't want to say you put notifications off and phone calls. As we leave the behind, take a peek on that left hand side, see if you can find any mandrels. Oh, Although they go. are the largest, they're also one of the more shy primate species, so they can be pretty difficult to find on a given day. Oh, yeah. <coughs> there he is. Oh, he's cool. I do. Yeah, no, they do it on the phone. It's coming through on the phone. Yeah. Sure the you put your phone on. Get up. Get the moon. 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 Get the
a lot more pink they are. No more. baby Cora. Great. Takes them about two years to fully turn that pink color that we all know. Actually, no elephants at all. Let's do their diet, tiny, <laughs> Brian Shrimp. Brian Shrimp, do you think they become the chemical keratin and that's what triggers that color change throughout their bodies? Very similar to those pink by pelicans we saw earlier today. Across these rocks, we're really headed into white rhino territory. Just a few moments, looks like they've been pretty active in the road this morning. <coughs> this hopefully, won't be stopped too much longer. Again, so there's the, uh, the ant is in the walkway, the pass under the tree. And you need to look. <laughs> and we're going to proceed with the little bit of caution, not because they're not the most aggressive, but because they are not nearly blind oh, really? animals. Life size ant. Well, it's life size. It's significantly larger than the black rhino we saw earlier. This white rhino is about around 5,000 pounds. Because their horns are made of keratin like your fingernails, they will continue to grow that rhino's entire lifespan. So often we'll see them scratching their horns on literally anything and everything around them. If you look really hard at these trees, most of them are missing bark right at that rhino height. And all of their horns have a little bit of a different shape to them because of it. As we continue on the left-hand side, keep your eyes out for Shia, one of the fastest animals on the planet, reaching speeds of 60 miles an hour. And only three seconds flat. Uh, they're probably sleeping too. In front of the cheetahs, there are a slightly slower animal, the ostrich. They are the fastest animal on two legs, reaching speeds of 40 miles an hour, and they are the largest bird in the world. She just sleeping too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fellow she is the largest purring cat on the planet. Cats are able to purr or they can roar. They can't do both. Looking for us, we are making our way up and over to a pretty big roaring cat's house. This large rock formation uh -huh. up ahead is known as a Kofi, and it is home to the African lion. Now lions usually sleep about 16 to 20 hours every single day, so there's a chance we might not find any. If we do, they will probably be resting, or at least sleeping. Wow. Kenny said you shouldn't look at yeah. the Yeah. Yeah. It's probably good to say Lions are also nocturnal cats from the awake in the evening. Hey, producer Preston. What's up, buddy? Helps them conserve a lot of energy, not having to try to fight the heat while they're out hunting. And by they, I mean the females. The females are the primary hunters for that entire pride. Whereas the males would rather be defenders. They stay home and make sure no one comes into their territory or hurts any of the cubs. You can see him sleeping up on that rock on your left. Is he? Oh, yeah. oh there he is. Oh, my God. Where is he? to distinguish him from the other from the females because of that giant mane he has around his face but that mane can be pretty heavy which is another reason why we don't see them as hunters in the wild well there's females right next to him oh yeah one of them there's two of them are they both there just one yeah only one female's out she's like our cast Continuing on that left hand side are going to be 
the warthog, the largest burrowing mammal on the planet, which is the one for digging, one for fighting. Both sets are made of ivory, the same material as elephants and hippo tusks. So it's pretty cool to see those different animals all have something in common with one another. In the wild, they have been known to steal other animals' burrows, but they like to back themselves in. That way, if something happens, they can quickly leave the area behind like they were never there. Earlier we saw some ostrich, which are the largest bird in the world, which means they lay the largest eggs. There's a whole nest of them on that right hand side. Those eggs are so strong that a whole person could actually go stand on one. <laughs> Remember when that was all the rage? Yep. Selling ostrich eggs for yes. 500, even thousands of dollars. You start your ostrich farm. Any moose. Ethan. The last thing we're driving through today is Magadi land, home to the warden and all of his Nigerian dwarf goats. These goats are a great example of how humans and animals can live together to help manage that give and take relationship, mm -hmm. making sure you get back to nature just as much as you take from it. They are dairy goats, so they can be milked, and that milk can be turned into other dairy byproducts to sell at local markets. Having domesticated animals on a farm like this helps significantly decrease the amount of wildlife being hunted. If you want to help out, you don't have to start a farm I'm like, like the Lord of the Rings. Jesus. Yeah, they're out. <laughs> they're out. <laughs> what happened here? Yeah. Or even from your, your vacation. One super easy thing to do is carry a reusable water bottle around for you. Especially here at Walt Disney World, you can refill that water bottle with free water at any quick service food location. Not only will you be helping the environment out by not buying single use plastic, but you'll also be saving some money. Ella Warren does live in between the village and the reserve, which is where we're making our way back to the village. Our spot is coming to an end. Just go and gather up all your personal blocks. Make sure you don't forget anything on the truck today. It's a long it's walk. My phone's so Africa. crooked. If I'm almost explorers on board, you can own the Simba 1, Simba like the Lion 1. Once you have the truck, you head down the path lane, there will be someone waiting to give you that almost explorer badge. And if you are not an explorer yet, you should go become one. It is not too late. It's a lot of fun. It's completely free for all ages. I believe the closest place to get a book would be the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. Now we're just going to hang inside and wait for one of these dogs to come up for us. It's far too sad and far too final. So instead we say Kwaharini, which means to go well. Kwaharini, everybody, go well, go wild, and go have a great rest of your day. And we can now look for whatever your adventure may take you. Friends, I wish hands on the list of slide open. of safari yes buddy whenever you need to you had a very nice calm soothing voice yeah what's the best safari in terms of seeing things? yeah There you go. <laughs> You're not wrong there, Ed. All right. Ethan needs a dunny break. There's a tree over there, Ethan. There is a tree. Mouse <laughs> talk. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> Thanks. Well, yeah, it was great seeing you and Melissa. And, and I'll text you tomorrow, tomorrow and Wednesday, and let you know exactly where we're at. Verna, good morning, my first day back to work in two weeks. We'll have a good day at work, Verna. 
it's a new game. We're in the Disney world. Of Disney world. Not right now. We'll get some, maybe we'll find something later we can play. Every parent's answer. Maybe later. How about later? All right, we're going to go into Gorilla Fall Tracks. I'll meet you up there. No, wait a minute. That way. That way. But you need, he needs the air. Folks, just trying to text my wife and take care of a couple other things. Walk into one, Ethan. Who am I missing? Oh, oh. Restroom for him. Oh, okay. Which way is Everest? This way, right? Yeah, so. Alrighty. Ethan needs a bathroom. Suzanne is on the bus with Michaela. All right. Party can start. Yeah. <laughs> Party can start. Oh, is uh, I didn't notice. I have your phone, buddy, okay? Yeah. I'm not giving it to you. I'm telling you in case you get worried that you don't have it. I'm trying to see was Rapids open. Is it? No, that's safari. I'm like, there's no way to wrap it this 40 minutes. Where is the rapids? No, rapids are not open. Not yet, anyways. All right, Ethan's going to use the dunny break. I'm going to pan around. Tusker House. Never had it. We thought about having it t this morning for breakfast, and then Suzanne's like, "Really? You want to pay that and then pay nineteen hundred? Yeah. Uh -huh. I wasn't worried. She wasn't worried about eating it. It was like, yeah, you want to yeah, pay yeah, both in one bad, day? Oh, that would be a, a six hundred dollar day. A look. Well, yeah, yeah. five hundred dollar day, easy. All right. Good morning, everyone. Campbell, welcome in, John and Denise. If you're just joining us, we're here at Animal Kingdom. We've been here. We've been going uh, almost two hours now. We're going to go a little bit longer. Like I said, I haven't decided yet when I'm going to end the stream. We're going to go do Everest right now. We're going to go do Everest, and then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll figure it out from there. We're waiting for uh, Susanna Michaela to show up. Oh, could have given you yours instead. And she wanted to know if you were alive. And I said, yeah. She goes, okay, we're going to check it out. All right, thank well, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hi, Jen. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. How it's you nice been? To Nicky. Hey, Nick, what's up? Good. Nice hey. to meet you. Nice Look who's here. Good. Jennifer came and find us. Nick, yeah. you've met Heather before. Hi, Heather. No? Hi. Been, oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, we were yeah, there yesterday with Jeff. Yeah, we gave him we gave him a really hard 
cried yesterday. Yeah. But he doesn't deserve it. He always does. He always deserves a hard time. <laughs> there he is. Oh, uh, there he is. Hey, Hi. Jim. How are you? Hi, Good Jen. to see you, Jen. Good to see you. Oh, oh I've been doing great. Yeah. Nice. Oh, 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 nice.
know. That's what I did. Suzanne loves it right here. She loves the fried rice right here. That's what she said she's going to have for Jimmy lunch. Uh, Yakinetti or whatever. The, the quick oh, service for Yakinetti. Well, this is the quick service, isn't it? It is. That's not Yakinetti. Oh. Well, she likes this one, I think. The one that has the fried rice. Okay. No, it's not that one. You are correct. So it's the Yakinetti quick service okay. that has the fried rice. She loves that. Yeah, decent, uh, Never had it. I nice actually booked inside. it. I booked it for this for today. Last last night, I'm like, Suzanne, they have it. I can get it for lunch. She's like, oh, eat that and then eat it again later. And I'm like, all right, forget it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's decent. I like it. You, you need to get a Landry's card. Yeah. For $25 and you, you get $25 off your first dinner anyway. And uh, you don't have to make reservations. You if you have the Landry's card, card. right. Card. And they have to sit you within a certain amount of time because of the card. They According do. to Jeff, yeah. yeah. Suzanne, I'm on my way to Everest. If uh, Disney Free, Tyler, what's going on? I feel like Animal Kingdom has the best quick service. I don't know. I mean, uh, Satuli Canteen's Satuli pretty good. Canteen is a yeah, it's drink. good. Don't get me wrong. Yep, that's one of the most popular. If I ones. if I needed to eat a, a something to fill me up, then I'd pick that Satuli yeah. Canteen. Yeah, kind okay. yeah, yeah, of. Blue dessert's actually pretty good. Oh, that moose blueberry moose. Oh, Jen, you know 55 minutes now for safari. Ouch. Okay, I grabbed frozen. Seven o'clock tonight. Never write that one. And then I got guardians. Let it go, hon. Let it go. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Uh, they're in the park, so I think I'm waiting for. We're oh, going to okay. wait for Michaela well, at Everest. They, I told them to get to Everest. Okay, they come across the bridge. Michaela seems to know this park better than me, so. I get so lost in this. In here, it's awful. Yeah. It's awful. That's the easiest. Yes. Well, yeah. Let's tell them to take the bridge. Let me get It's up here. I did not have breakfast. I only had a small coffee. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Yep. In, Leanne said it. It's in the path. One of the. It's in the path. She said you got to go, and it's under the tree, and you got to look in the. Uh, what she said, the corn, not the corn holes, the. Uh, not holes. Not holes. Not a corn hole. That's a game <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> <to play. laughs> the corn holes. And then who that day to me said, "How in the world do you know that, Leanne?" Yeah, because <laughs> it's life size, right? Like. We were talking big ant. Yeah. Really no, big they they say life size, so it's kind of hard to. Are we talking like sugar ants? I. Are we talking like those big, big fat red ants? We're going to spend the rest of this stream. We're going to go look for it and find it. That's what we're going to. No. Have you had Mr. Kamal's fries? I have, and I'm going to tell you this. I'm very, I've am very. i been upset for years. When was Grandpa's first visit? You wouldn't remember. But I'm going to say six years ago, maybe seven. I'll do you 12. So I'm going to say about six years ago. And, and, be, and before that, they used to have the uh, the tahiti sauce on it. Is it called tahiti sauce? Tahini. Uh, tahini. The, the, the white mayonnaise with the, with the spice to it. Aioli. Well, that's another one. They had a, it's, I think it's called tahiti. Or tahiti. It was like a... Yeah, tahini is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Right. Tahini. But they that's what they used to cover it with. Yeah. And it was amazing. Now it's just like to give you fries and like oh, his ketchup sauce, if you want right. or a dipping sauce. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I thought they just put season all on it. <laughs> it is. It's seasoning and then and but they give you like no. It, it used to be like a, so a mayonnaise sauce they used to put on it. That was like some sort of curry ketchup and then I don't remember. Yes. What now, yeah. We, we are gonna go here and watch the show. I hope. I hope. Well, we um, can. you can. <laughs> no, really, you don't like it. No. Yeah. Bad bird experience? You and Jeff must be hanging out. Oh, uh, just not my thing. There's where the gentleman was. Main Street, Nick. Welcome in, buddy. Nice meeting you in person. Ready? What is it? Julia calls me. Birthday better. Well, thank you, Julie. I appreciate it. What are these cloths hanging out? Are they called prayer cloths or a string of mine? What? Prayer cloths. Is that what's in? Okay, is that Yaki Yaki? Where Suzanne and then would come from if they take the bridge to Asia? 
Ah. Uh -huh. I don't, oh, speaking of, there they are, right there. Look at that. One looks like uh, she's on a mission. The other one looks like I'm ready to go home. Oh, look, Suzanne's got the yeah. leopard print on what? as well. What? Mm. I see, and the shirt. <laughs> morning. Morning, bud. I have your glasses. Oh, yeah, we forgot those. I yeah. do. We forgot those. Let's go ride Everest. I heard Dad wake up. I know what he just I told you. He told me I can have McDonald's on the way home. Huh? Highlight of the day, yeah. Yeah, that he can have McDonald's on the way back to the resort. Yes, I promised to eat the McDonald's on the way back. Oh. Huh? Is that a new shirt? Yeah. Why, did I not wear it to the right part? I've never seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the new shirt. Ethan, you think we hear you think we'll see Scream Guy? Carlos, you notice the ropes are gone from tower to tower now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, There's monkeys. When they, come out? they used to have ropes on each tower. Right, and the monkeys used to climb them. Yeah, they would I was always wondering, how in the world did they do that without falling? Do you know about this uh, monument right here? Um, I don't remember something about it. Hold on, if these girls get out of my way. No, not that one. Yeah, but watch this. But it kind of looks like the mountain. It does. If you get down, it lines up. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah if you get to a right true. angle, it lines up with the mountain. Yeah. Went and got me the first aid. And then, yeah. Actually, this is where the camera was. Some Mexican. Those photos they would do. Yeah. Disney Baker, what's going on? Look, we hear screams. Now we actually hear screams. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you that story yet. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Remind me to explain to you the, the scream story when I log out. Okay. <laughs> Duly noted. The Hollywood by myself is better. There's a hugging tree. Baker says there's a hugging tree, too. Hugging tree where? I like hugging trees. Are you a tree hugger? I'm not a tree hugger. Yeah, I'm just gonna Suzanne just got here and she's already gonna go sit and wait. That's all I do here. And I was like, oh, I don't know what. And then I got a new, there was like the mission of the world. Is that what you want to do next, considering it's right there? We'll do it again. So I got to walk around. It was nice. Want to do the dinosaur again? Yeah, it's at one point. Yeah, that's for sure. Huh? Yeah, that's for sure. We'll do it. Again. Right, oh, you didn't do it with me. That's right. It was just me and Ethan. I'm oh, sorry. That's right. I apologize. That's right. You were not with me. Stuffed pancakes. Well, that's what sis used to do. That paste throws me off. Everything else I'd eat, that paste throws me off. And I could really eat that right now because I didn't have breakfast. I'm on one small cup of coffee from the resort, nothing else. So I am, uh, belly's starting to go, put something in me. Brrr. So, you ready? Okay. I gotta sneak Michaela in. Uh, you gotta buzz me in. And my daughter just got in the park when I did the DOS. She was missing. Can I get her? Yeah. Ethan, you gotta scan. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to scan your phone. Yeah, you can 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 scan your phone. Yeah
she was the one. That, okay. Thank you. Well, I'm missing. To, I'm waiting for Eddie oh, and Heather. Okay. Cut the sh you almost made me say something, Michaela. Cut it out. Oh. You know, you get to a certain point in the trip where it's like you wish just the kids weren't here. The three of us. Alright, bear with me. I'm trying to deal with family right now. And Everything goes here while when everybody else shows up. <laughs> I'm sorry if I missed chat. Everybody's just saying hi to everybody. All right, I'm going to shut the gimbal off and hold you guys phone only because I don't want to break my gimbal. Bear with me. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll shut it off now.
Brake release. I didn't see lag until the end, so I don't know how well that went through. Oh. It's a great ride, but man, is it rough. Morning, Uncle Mike. Kayla try to get photo passes. Try to find that in Heather's. A little rough. It's it's a great ride. It's it's right after Guardians, my favorite roller coaster. But man, is it that vibration? It, it's the. Yeah. And I think Reagan rode that seven times in a row. I like believe it. Get off that box. I'm like, oh, wait, I, well, I could do it again. I think I got five. And I was <laughs> like, I'm done. All right. Want to head over to Dinosaur? I couldn't get a DOS for it because it says zero wait time. Oh, seriously? It's zero. Like, it. like, you couldn't even do anything. So I grabbed one for Flight of Passage already, but not until 1040. Oh, awesome. Oh, great. Another break for Suzanne. No. <laughs> you don't like it? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, here's what I'm going to do, too. I'm going to call it today. I think it was a fun stream this morning. A little over two hours. We're going to go have some fun with, with just Ed and Heather and Jennifer's in the park and Nick. We'll meet up with them. We we'll do some trails. But like I said about me, it's just when I get to a point, I don't know, I think I started too early today, but I got to a point this morning that I just uh, not in the streaming mood anymore. So I am going to call it. Are we missing someone? Oh, you're just waiting for me. Oh, so yeah. Thanks everybody for popping in. I appreciate it. We're gonna go have some fun with Ed and Heather, Texas Takes. I'm sure they'll be live. Ed goes live when he when he feels like it. In the evening sometimes. So they're at Epcot tonight, so maybe he'll be live from Flock of Seagulls. They will, there you go, Flock of Seagulls. Where, I keep losing people. Yeah. Yeah, we did, we lost kids. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I usually say I do two live streams a day, but I'm not doing a second one today, so. You didn't do a coffee, well, uh, morning coffee? Well, we did a combination because that's how early this stream was. So it was a combo of morning brew and uh, in the park. So, yeah, we'll be we'll see you all tonight on Steve's stream. Make sure you check out Ed, Texas Takes. Hopefully my mods have been posting them too because they'll be live. They're here all week just like we are. We are. And Ed goes live in the evening. So besides that, enjoy the rest of your Monday. Have a good work day. I am signing off. We are done. Something nice to look at. <laughs> There's nothing nice to look at because that is the sun. And uh, yeah, you know what? Here's a tree for you. 
I am just...